We do have breaking news now on Starbucks earnings coming in and our own Tim Senevic standing by with the numbers. Tim, how do they look? <laughs> Excuse me, Hope and Brad. Uh, numbers are looking pretty solid for Starbucks. Investors responding by sending shares of Starbucks just down four tenths of one percent. They were higher uh, by more than one percent, but uh, investors still trying to make sense of these figures. I want to get to the numbers in just a second because uh, I think more importantly, uh, Starbucks weighing in on the coronavirus uh, right now. Uh, the company saying as we begin the second quarter, we want to acknowledge the dynamic situation our partners in China are navigating as health officials respond to coronavirus. The company says it remains optimistic and committed to long-term opportunity in China. Currently, though, the company says it's closed more than half of our stores in China. Remember, Starbucks has more than 4,000 stores in China. It's an incredibly important market for the company. Now they've closed half their stores in response to the coronavirus. The company says it's continuing to monitor and modify operating hours of all of our stores in the China market in response to the outbreak of coronavirus. Uh, it's amazing to see Starbucks weigh in without being asked about this by investors, but this is certainly, you know, the biggest story dominating the markets right now, guys. So it makes sense that the company uh, wants to be public about this and, and, and really get ahead of it before the analysts start asking questions on the call. Uh, the company also says uh, that it did see a revenue of $7.1 billion for the most recent quarter, relatively in line with expectations. And uh, investors, our analysts, I should say, wanted to see $7.1 billion. Same store sales growth was a beat. It was higher by 5%. 4.4% uh, was what uh, investors wanted to see globally for same-store sales. Uh, the company saw 6% same-store sales growth here in the U.S. and then 3% in China. I'm going to continue to go through these figures and get you the latest uh, in just a few minutes, guys. Yeah, as we know, markets have an implied way of asking their questions to the company executives on what they want to hear more about with where they send the shares. And yesterday we saw shares of Starbucks declining heavily by about 3% at one point more than that. Uh, because of the risks of the coronavirus and the company's ambitions to continue growth in China. Now, as Tim mentioned, 6% comp growth in the U.S., 3% comp growth in China, and then also through that statement saying that they remain optimistic and committed to the long-term opportunity in China, building brand heritage and this 20-year legacy of profitable growth. China is a major effort for them. Uh, coronavirus, they did need to come out and address it in some way. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe it's really smart of them, right? Uh, because that is, to your point, maybe on investors' mind versus maybe, I don't know, again, now that Apple, we're waiting on it, if Apple will do the same thing, have their forecast or guidance right at the front of their earnings as well to talk about where they might see their uh, you know, uh, second uh, quarter fiscal uh, year coming in. 